with Chef Alana <laughs> in her kitchen. She's savory, I'm sweet, duh, hello. <laughs> um, and my favorite is tropical stuff. You know, I can't have the mangoes, I can't have the pineapples, no. but you can sure have the coconut. Yes. And um, as we know in any keto, low carb diet, it's full fat, it's healthy fats, it keeps you fuller, longer. In this particular recipe, I'm doing a panna cotta. Um, I'm finishing it with, with fresh berries. We know that berries are really great for a low carb keto diet. And this is beyond simple. <laughs> Do you, do you trust me? Absolutely. Okay, I'm glad you do because I don't trust you. <laughs> okay, so what you want to do is for every packet of gelatin that you use, you need two cups of liquid. So what I've done is I'm using a can of coconut, full fat coconut milk with the cream on top. Oh, look at that. Over there, yep. right? We'll put that inside the can, the, or to so the pot. We'll turn it on a low heat. And there as that's heating up, you're going to take your gelatin and put it in your water and get that going. This is blooming, right, Chef? Yes, blooming the gelatin. So pour it in slowly, get it mixed in. It's the same thing as Jello. A lot of people who are vegan don't like using gelatin because it is marrow-based. Um, so if you are a vegan and you're wanting to avoid that, you can use agar agar. Is agar agar, right? yeah, seaweed-based. Yeah. And so that should be fine for, for your diet. It doesn't taste like seaweed though. It doesn't so you know. taste like seaweed and it also has a different, it's got the same ability to set liquids. Yes. Um, but it does have a slightly different texture. I personally am not a huge fan. Oh, I like it. it. Do you like it? Yeah, I do. What, what do you use it for? I grew up having it anytime you went for dim sum back in the 80s and 90s and the little oh, bowls of yes. cube jello came out yeah. and they didn't taste like jello from the package. Yeah. That was set with agar agar. Got it. <laughs> What else would you use it for? Agar agar can you be used for a lot of different applications, hot applications, uh, funny enough. Uh, okay. So gelatin, you know that once it heats up, it melts. Yes. And so that's why you don't take jello on a picnic. Correct. But agar agar will stay set even when it's heated up. Oh. Yeah, once it's been set uh, and chilled, you can actually heat it up without having it melt. Is there any instances for low carb keto living that you would use it in place of a gelatin Only because of those properties? Not really. Only okay. only if you're looking for plant-based versus animal-based. Got it. Yeah. Okay, so this is warming up. This should take about a minute or two to bloom. Um, panna cotta I love because you can um, use a number of different creams. You can change the flavors. You can make it into a chocolate panna cotta. You can, I'm using vanilla today. I'm using vanilla today. <laughs> vanilla. I love vanilla. I have to hide this vanilla. It's actually quite expensive. Um, it's the Mexican vanilla. And my daughter uses it in her shakes. And so I think this was, this was like $27 for a bottle. And she was like, dump. Yeah, so we hide this now from my daughter. So it's a good vanilla. Right? It's like the top shelf liquor. It's the top shelf. It actually is <laughs> hidden in the top shelf of my liquor, which she may have found both. Who knows, right? She's a teenager. Um, Lacanto is my favorite sweetener. Me too. I like it because it doesn't, I mean, stevia is great as well. Uh, this doesn't leave, some of the sweeteners have that cooling effect on your tongue, which I, I like sometimes, but not all the time. And so that actually is in the Lacanto, that's the ethritol. Yes. So if you're using pure ethritol, it really has that cooling yeah. effect. I don't like stevia for the fact, I like it because it's natural and it's plant-based, but I yeah. don't like the aftertaste. Yes. It's no different than um, aspartame aftertaste for yeah. me. Yeah. And so I like the Lacanto, it's the monk fruit that, yes. that makes it super sweet. You know, monk fruit comes in a liquid form as well if you want to add it to your coffee. Um, it's not I used it actually for cakes as well, so that's ground down in your coffee grinder. You can buy it in that format, but that's great for icing sugar, yeah. which literally is just adding it to pounds and pounds butter. of butter, <laughs> whipped <laughs> pounds of butter. So we're going to add about a third of a cup of sugar to that. That'll do the trick. Bring this up to a simmer. And that's really personal preference, the sugar in this, because it's for the gelatin sure. that's doing the, the gelling. Yes, correct. The sugar has, this particular sweetener has nothing to do with anything. So we're gonna go ahead and add, you can see it's already thickening up nicely. Yeah. We'll add this in. Cook it for about another minute. And then we're gonna add it to little serving cups, any type that you like. You can put them into, um, little cups and then flip them over, panna cotta style. I like having it all just in one little fancy cup. Can I give this to you? Yes. I'm just gonna pull yeah, out I'm the finished product. Here. So I made some yesterday 
And one of the things that I did, Alana, was I um, did another thing of gelatin. And I did it with champagne. So I took oh, that's champagne. Pretty. And I, same thing, two cups of, of, one cup of champagne or white wine, one cup of water, and then I did sweetener to taste as well. Um, and then I waited until the, the panna cotta was um, set, which mm -hmm. took a couple of, this takes about four or six hours to really set. Uh, after a couple of hours, I had a film across the top. I put my raspberries in, and then I added um, the champagne mixture as well. I let it cool down a little bit. And this is what I got the next day. So I thought this was like really, really cute as well. When it's an adult dessert now. Well, I, I feel like I cooked off enough of the alcohol <laughs> that if anything, it'll just get my kids to go to sleep. So when you're just finishing this, um, you can top it with berries and whipping cream. You can add a, um, a macerated um, berries with some sugar as well and put that across the top. That would be Whatever nice. it is that you like. Someone can have some blackberries on it. And yeah, I, I think it's really yummy. Now, if you have an allergy to dairy, um, a great whipping cream is the coconut whipped cream as well. Yes. Which I've been doing more and more recently, but I want you to try this. I want you to tell me what you think of this particular dessert. And I'm gonna give you the champagne one because <laughs> I already tried it. <laughs> I'm afraid that Alana, being as little as she is and so skinny, she might get drunk just off the gelatin. Mm. Anyways, cheers. Good? Cheers. Yes, it's very good. Good. Mm. Our recipe is on our website. More information. It will be in our keto cookbook as well with all of its variations. Thanks for uh, thanks for being on the show and having me in your home. Thank you for coming thanks, over. Alana.